Oh, just finished morning exercises. Man, Monday's a hard day. Heavy weights. Okay, so what am I talking about today? I've spoken about how an adventure builder should behave when they're, when they're doing things, you know? You should have honor, honesty, imagination, love, courage, strength, life, humility. You should, you should adhere to these principles. But then the next question is, okay, so what's the point though? What, what, what should an adventure builder do? while they're doing all these things? Like what's, what's the overall goal or, or some, kind of, some kind of guideline of, of how to, hmm, you know? Now if I were to whittle it down to its most basic concept, which I did, I would say an adventure builder's goal is to increase value in the universe. That's it. You know, everything else is just details. You can do that a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different ways to to create value. It depends on who you are, what you're good at, what you enjoy, whatever. There's a lot of different ways to increase value in the world. And uh, one of the difficult things about this is that as a living creature, we have to consume value. Like just to live. Every time my heart beats, it's using energy. Every time I, I do, it, I move. I'm, I'm moving right now using energy. That means I have to eat. I have, con I have to consume this this food, I have to have some kind of shelter. I have to use resources to build that shelter. I have to consume water and air. Well, the air is kind of convenient because whenever you breathe out, it, it turns into to plant air, which is kind of really nice. So breathe all you want, man. But let's, let's start with food, for example. Never waste food. And this kind of goes against one of the things we're taught in our modern consumerist society. And I mean, we talk about it as if we are supposed to be consumers, like right? we're a consumer society. We need to consume to keep the economy going. <sighs> Forget that, man, that's not adventure builder. You don't just consume. Don't, don't take anything you don't, you're not gonna use to, to increase the value. If, if, if there's something you really don't need to use, don't. Don't throw away food. Don't take more food than you need. Because whenever you take food, you're taking that energy from some other life. Something else could eat that. Or something died so that you can have that food. Or something used its energy. Like you are taking energy from the universe. You're consuming. That's negative value. Anytime you waste, that's negative value. So don't, don't waste food. Don't waste resources. Don't waste stuff. Ah, now... One of the really cool things about being in a consumerist, wasteful society is that there's lots of garbage around. Now, this is unfortunate. However, an adventure builder should see this as an opportunity to at least improve the circumstances. Anytime you can use a piece of garbage and turn it into something useful, turn it back into something useful, you've increased the value of that item. You've increased value, overall value in the universe. Boom, great thing. So anytime you can use something that someone else has deemed waste, turn it back into something valuable, excellent thing to do. Now, something like uh, buying land as an investment to resell it for more money later. This is not adventure builder, man. It is a terrible thing to do. See, when we're, when we're kids, we're told, don't take something just because you know someone else wants it. And that makes perfect sense as you're, when you're a kid, right? But then we grow up, and that exact same thing is a good business decision but it's a terrible adventure builder decision. Because if you buy some land for $5,000 and you don't do anything to it to add value and then you turn around and sell it for $50,000, all you've done is sucked $45,000 worth of someone else's energy out of their hands for nothing. There are all kinds of business investments like this that you can get into where you can make lots of money that actually add zero value to the world and take value from the world. So don't, it's like, it's, it's basically being a thief. It's being a, a dishonorable thief. No law is gonna tell you you can't do it, but your, invent, your adventure builder honor should tell you don't do crap like that. Don't take something just because you know someone else wants it. And you know that if you take it, you can make them pay more for it, ha <laughs> ha. No, that is a bad thing to do. Okay. Now let's get on to, so that, that kind of covers a bunch of different ways to not waste. So don't waste. Now what do you create? You know, you have to use some kind of energy. And if you're going to be alive, let's just figure out how to create something that increases value, value in the universe. Well, the simplest ways, the most obvious ways, are just to 
create basic needs. Figure out how to grow food. Uh, build, build a house. Build shelter. You know, do, do something that helps someone, yourself, anyone, get a, get a useful water source. Putting a, a bucket, putting a barrel by your eaves trough, collecting the water so that you don't have to, to collect the water from somewhere else. You've just saved the energy of having to get the water from somewhere else, and now you're using water that would have just run away anyway. So collect the water. And I realize that there are places in the world that have laws that say you can't do this. So not adventure builder. Everyone who made those rules are just destroying value in the world. They're taking away, they're taking away valuable things in the world, and that is not a good thing. Anytime you can create some food or create some clean water, create some kind of life-affirming stuff, create some shelter that's going to last, that is adding value to the world. Now, when you create, uh, <clears throat> now when you create something like shelter or, or tools or anything that's useful like that, uh, the, longer, the longer time period, the, the longer lifespan you can give to these tools, the better. So if you have a choice between building a shovel, this is an example I have used because I, I have built several shovels. If you have a choice between building a shovel with regular steel and building a shovel with stainless steel, and building the shovel with stainless steel is going to cost four times as much as the regular steel one. Do the calculation in your head. Okay, how, this, is, this costs four times as much, but how much longer is it going to last? If it's going to last like 100 times longer, then overall that has 25 times the value of the steel one. So make the stainless steel one. Even though it takes a bigger investment in the beginning, it ends up in the long term being a much better, a much, a much greater value in the universe. And again, this, is, this goes against everything we're taught today in our disposable society. We've got a consumerist disposable society where people are just consuming resources and turning them into garbage as fast as they can to run this weird economy financial system, which is so destructive. So forget about all that. Now, you know, life cannot be all about just doing what has to be done you know, making food and houses and stuff. And this is where an adventure builder gets to the cool stuff. You know, we don't need to have inventions or adventures and all this stuff, but otherwise, what's the point of being alive? So once you've got all that other stuff kind of taken care of and you're working on that, you know, that's, that's when you get to get into making inventions, building giant robots, not because it needs to be done or anyone has to have it, but because it's a cool thing that, that makes that brings more coolness to the world. It adds something to the universe that isn't really tangible. You know when you have, uh, you know when you have a, an object that's greater than the sum of its parts, like, like me, if you stuck me in a blender and, and just spewed me out, I would be much less valuable. But you, you assemble me into this thing and suddenly I have some kind of living conscious value. Anytime you can create something where you take take the parts and you make something that has some emergent value that's, that's greater than the sum of its parts. That, that's a beautiful thing. And this is where it really gets into, it depends what you want to do, who you are, what you're good at, what kind of things you like. Like, I really like building machines. So if I can build some machines that can, you know, inspire people and make them lift people's hearts and make them feel better about about the world and the universe in general, great. Other people do, do paintings or, or architecture. I also do architecture and paintings, actually. But, you know, the, the point is, you, whatever you do, man, whatever you do, do it and love it and, and put your heart and soul into it and just whatever you can do, add, add value to the universe. That's what an adventure builder does. Add value to the universe, minimize your waste, maximize the value you're outputting. That's it. All right. Oh, I think I'm kind of cooled down now from my exercise. Time to go do some work. Ah, I forgot a point I wanted to make. One of the great ways you can increase value in the world is to increase your own value. Because you're in the world. So get some exercise. Learn some things. Gain skills so that you can do more of whatever it is you do and you need to consume less medical attention or help or, or whatever. Learn the difference between helping someone and just patting yourself on the back. 
close your mouth and listen. There are all kinds of ways that you can, you can improve yourself. Maybe you need to meditate to get rid of some anger so that you can be more patient with your family or friends or children or whatever. Speaking of children, teach your kids. Teach your kids. Spend time with them. Teach them because they're taking all this into the future. After you're dead, they're going to take whatever you give them into the future. If you can give them some kind of good stuff they can take into the future, that is adding value into the future world where you're not even going to be. That is a great thing. All right. Yeah, now I'm really going to do some work.